What's up everyone, my name is Sonic Ogart and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing absolutely fantastic. It's been a relaxing week this week. Although, time to get back to some videos as well as work and programming. Uh, I want to say a couple things first. First of all, expect a video on this thing, the GBL Extreme 2. I bought it, love it, and I'm gonna do a full-on review on this thing with, like, I have some crazy ideas with this thing. So definitely be sure to check out the video on this thing. I have some crazy ideas. Then second of all, I wanted to talk about something that I said in the previous video on the Dell XPS 15. Uh, I said that you should probably undervolt. Don't. Don't undervolt. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. If you undervolt the Dell XPS 15, you get random shutdowns whenever you put the machine to sleep. Whenever it goes to sleep, because it has a too low voltage, applications will stop working and shut down completely, uh, probably due to too low voltage on the RAM. So, I don't know how exactly that works, but with my underclock, my laptop would just shut down all the apps automatically every single time, and the only way to not get that problem is to not undervolt. Uh, another thing I want to say is, before we go into this video, Please install Dell's latest BIOS update. They updated it to a new version, which dramatically reduces the strain you will have during gaming. During gaming, what would happen is if your GPU were to hit 75 degrees, it would completely clock down to 300 megahertz on the base clock or on the boost clock even. And that is just, that, that's terrible. That shouldn't happen. So what they did is with the BIOS update is they fixed it by allowing it to throttle to 1100 or so megahertz instead of the 300 that it was designed for. So that's really good. It means that the gaming performance is spot on and it is very consistent, very, very consistent. High frame rates on ultra graphics in a lot of titles. Currently I've only tested two, but that doesn't remove me from the privilege to show you guys that this thing can definitely game. Uh, maybe I'll install some CSGO or something, some small games. But I've played for so far Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain on Ultra Graphics, and I've also played Rainbow Six Siege game all the way on Ultra Graphics. Again, 60 frames per second or actually up to 100 if you were to clock it down just a little bit on the graphics. But that is amazing performance for a machine like this. Can we just stress again that this thing is super thin and only weighs 1.8 kilos? or something along those lines, 1.9. It's it, it's from like as low as 1.8. I don't know the exact weight of this thing. It feels like 1.8. Anyhow, the gaming performance on this thing is insane. Yes, the fans spin up quite loud, but again, I have that air conditioned, I guess, so I don't hear it as well as other people. It's not a high pitch noise, which I'm a fan of, but yeah, things like Rainbow Six Siege, I've been playing hell out of that game on this laptop for hours on end and it works very, very well. So why don't we just take a look at some gameplay so you can see the kind of frame rates that we're pulling. Maybe I'll do a screen record if I can, uh, otherwise we'll just have to do it like that. Maybe it's better if we just do it like this. Now, how about we play a game of Terrorist Hunt first, okay? So we're gonna go Long Wolf Hard. Now, well, let's see how that goes. Sorry if there's some camera shake. I am pressed up way to the PC. So yeah, the camera's standing on the PC right now to get this super strange, weird angle. But you can see the FPS numbers at the top left. I'll zoom in uh, on that from time to time. Uh, so currently it's sitting at 106 frames per second. But we'll just see what happens. Let's get Sledge going. I picked a shotgun, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Switch to 400 DPI, get some better, get some better uh, results. And the frame rates go anywhere as low as 80, but they do stay in the high numbers as well. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Bomber incoming. Okay, let's try a different approach. Oh wow, 
wow. <laughs> Anyhow, the frame rate's really high. Uh, and you know, they keep, they keep stable. But uh, you know what? Terrorist Hunt is just a small portion of the gaming experience. When you go online, frame rates tend to, you know, differ a little bit, at least some people say. So let's just jump into a random game of casual. And uh, I'll open up Afterburner so you guys can get an idea of what the temperatures are. And it's 64 degrees on the GPU. 64 degrees! That's nothing. Now we can open up XTU, Extreme uh, Tuning Utility, to check out the CPU temperatures. I suspect they'll be fine. Although they could be anywhere in the 70 to 80 degree range. Um, although the GPU is such a low temperature, it might even be less, but we'll find out. And that's the pop-up of getting it crashed previously. Let's see, thermal 60 degrees as well! Holy crap! That's amazing! Tellers. I don't like tellers. Uh, da, 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 Valk? Do I want to go Valk? I guess I want to go Valk. Let's reinforce this place. Ah, damn it. Well, that was a loss. But I got my cameras up, so that's something. And not anymore. <laughs> but again, the frame rates, they're up in the 80s, 70s, 90s, 100s. I mean, they fluctuate just a little bit, but you don't feel it because it's a 60 hertz screen. But, damn. And I also played on battery a little while, and I can actually pull this game off for like a, or Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, in particular that I, that I tested. Is I tested playing that game for like over an hour or so uh, with a controller, and that's also a cool thing is that because you got Bluetooth, you can actually pair controllers like the PlayStation up uh, through Steam, and then you can actually use this like an Xbox controller, or you can just use a regular Xbox controller. But you know, connecting through this is super easy because the laptop has Bluetooth. You can actually use that to also get really easy access to playing games with controllers. So that's also an option. Now, microphone on this thing for using things like Discord, I wouldn't recommend. It is possible. People have not complained yet, but it is possible. Despite the fans heating up, it is very much possible, which I was very surprised by. I was like, hey, wait a minute, I got the wrong mic plugged in, and then they were suddenly like, oh my god, yeah, that sounds way better. Now I got the uh, podcaster mic up here uh, plugged in, you know, this thing, the uh, Rode NT-USB. This is a test recording on the XPS 15 7590 laptop. I don't expect it to be good, but we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so now you can see I'm playing with my PlayStation controller, so... Now we can just use this like a regular Xbox controller. And again, frame rates, 50. It is 50, it doesn't feel like 50, it feels like 60, that's a weird thing. But apparently, it's also very hard to get anything... Uh. Yeah, this game is a stealth game, I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever. But again, we're pulling high frame rates, and it's great. Plays very smoothly. Get the prisoner, but yeah, again, frame rate's really high, and now I'm at 60. But the thing is, it seems capped at 60, no matter how low I put graphics or somewhat. Um, but yeah, overall performance, really, really good. And yeah, it's totally playable with a controller. Um, so that's really, really cool. So yeah, gaming performance overall, 
I'm very satisfied. I hope you are as well. Okay, everyone. So, this is CSGO. Just installed it really quickly. Took about 20 minutes or so. And uh, now, we'll just see how this fan favorite plays. Uh, I have put a lot of graphics up to the highest. Um, I'll lower them as needed, if needed. Because it's a competitive game, a lot of people tend to actually play this at 720p. <laughs> Uh, to the lowest settings they possibly can uh, simply because uh, that allows them to get higher frame rates to be more competitive. But we're getting around 90 frames, 80 frames looks like. Uh, this is with 4 times MSAA, mind you. Uh, we're gonna turn that all the way off now. Let's uh, turn that all the way off. That should definitely help out. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now we get 80, still 80 around 80. Uh, 99, 108, 114. 90. It fluctuates again, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Let's see what else uh, type of settings we can change. Let's see the model texture quality, effect shader, multi core rendering enabled, anti aliasing disabled, FXA. That is very easy. Uh, troll and error, that's fine. Video girl sync disabled. Let's uh, turn effects down to low. Doesn't change much. Okay, let's go to model detail low. Global shadow quality very low. See what these type of changes do. Wow. Changing the settings this time actually made the game crash. So that's great. Let's uh, try that again. Oh no, it actually did come through. Let's see what kind of frames we're pulling now. Let's see, so we got very low, 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 uh, shaded detail very high. I'm gonna swap that to high. And we lower the, the brightness just a little bit again. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> wow. Like, he's on super high health still as well. But yeah, that's basically just how these game plays. Like, the frame rates right now is like 120. I think, it, and now it's back to 70. Okay, so in CSGO, it depends on which portion of the map you're looking. If you're looking at, like, the edge of the map, low, like, like high frame rates. If you're looking at the middle of the map, then frame rates tend to be low. But uh, overall performance really good. Let's take a look at the temperatures. So the CPU is sitting at a 68, 67. And the GPU is sitting at a comfortable... Hold on a second. Because I just uh, lowered the temperature a little bit. But let's see. 50, 59. So, I mean, that's really impressive. But I guess CSGO is also meant for, like low power gaming like you can definitely do this on battery for longer periods of time wow same guy again but uh, yeah that's just how we play and uh, you know it's very good Okay, everyone, so as you can see, this thing is clearly a beast when it comes to gaming. It's not meant for gaming, uh, just to be clear, but the performance in gaming overall is very, very good. High frame rates, but apparently details these days don't make the difference that much more in frame rates. It can definitely do higher frame rates or the same frame rates on higher details uh, just as well as on low details. It can't pull the amount of frames, I guess, but it can do more efficient frames. So what I'm trying to say with that is that even if you crank up the detail, it will still perform as fast as if you were to put it on low detail. The FPS doesn't really change that much. Uh, and again, for a Metal Gear Solid 5, I mean, while that game is a lot more heavier, while it can't reach 60 frames per second consistently all the time, if you manage to get the settings right, it can do it and then it plays very smoothly. And even on 50 frames per second, it still plays very smoothly. I don't notice too much input lag and it plays phenomenal. And it's very nice to also be able to play with a controller very easily just over Bluetooth. So, uh, 
You know, I'm really happy with the game performance on this thing. So, you know what, with the upcoming videos, expect to see some video editing on this thing as well, because the video editing on this machine is also really, really good. And you know, I want you guys to take a look at it. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below what other types of videos you want to see about this machine, because honestly, I'm really impressed with the Dell XPS. The low temperatures, the high performance in gaming, the high performance in anything else, really, and the multitasking capabilities that it, that it offers to me for a laptop. And again, the long battery life that I I still need to test, by the way. Uh, when my school starts again, I'm gonna have plenty of time to test the battery life and see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. This laptop has been throwing around my world lately. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.